Good afternoon. Here we are at Meeting House Design's new location at 14 Hunnewell Street in South Portland. I oftentimes get asked, um, what is it that Meeting House Designs does? Well, first and foremost, we're a tile and stone uh, retailer. However, we get into all sorts of projects um, that few people really know about. One of them I want to show you today real quickly is some of the restoration refinishing work that we do, um, starting with tiles. And what we have here is a customer who brought in some old Delftware tile, and she has labeled each one where she would like them, and they are uh, from her grandfather's farmhouse in Connecticut, and I'm not exactly sure how old these tiles are, but they are made much like the 17th century um, tiles were made with yellow clay, which you can see on the bottom here, amongst a few other things like mortar and some liquid nails. Um, but they are a yellow clay uh, type body, original to uh, Delft, uh, Delftware as it became known, but porcelain uh, Delft, which is the original factory, uh, used this clay. Others have used similar clays and also uh, different type of clay mixtures through the years. Uh, other fabricators or manufacturers in uh, Holland, um, Harlinga Tiles, another one, Royal Mockham you might hear as well. These are also thin. They are the typical Delft porcelain um, uh, thickness and clay body. So, well, what we're going to do today is we have to clean up, I'm not sure if you can see this, all the extra grout on the edges that were from the original installation. And then we are going to put them together, as the customer <coughs> suggested, um, into small frames that we will mount onto quarter inch hardy backer board and we will uh, tighten up the grout joints and re-grout them and uh, apply um, thin set mortar to the back so that they have a nice strong bond through many, many, many years. It can be hung on the walls, wall art, instead of installed. Um, some of the tools we'll use today are just a typical 5-inch uh, razor blade scraper to, get off, to knock off the edges nice and flat. And then on the back, we'll also get into uh, taking off the excess mortar and uh, thin, sorry, mortar and uh, liquid nails that are on here, so that we can get to the same thickness when we lay these down uh, side by side, so that they're not bumping up higher than the other one. Um, another useful tool is a carbide, uh, a file, if you will, uh, for tile, and this works really well for stone and extremely well for mortar to clean up those edges as well. Well, that's it here for today. I just want to give you a quick update on some of the services we offer. We'll be adding more as they come along. Thank you.